In this video, and it's going to be the last video on the addictions, I'm going to talk about the addictions that I had with gaming, with films, TV series, and also social media like Facebook, YouTube. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So, let's start with the games. So, the games that I would. Uh, I started with gaming when I was pretty young. <laughs> as, as anyone born after, let's say, 1980, um, gaming became part of my life at a very young age. Uh, but it didn't really become a problem until I went to England to study music. Uh, and not until, I think, uh, when I actually stopped smoking weed, which was in 2011. Why? This is very interesting because because I wasn't smoking weed and also with the pornography where I would I would have periods where I was not uh, doing pornography and then I would do a little bit and I'm not doing so at the, because I wasn't doing pornography and weed um, I had to find something to distract myself from my life so it's interesting how you you will substitute an addiction or let's say maybe a, a distraction for another you stop smoking but then you will eat more or, you know, that's probably not the best example, but it, it happens this way where you are actually not necessarily addicted to what it is that you do, but you're actually addicted to the experience or what you're trying to avoid with by consuming a certain substance or doing a certain thing. It could even be going to the gym, like you go to the gym every day just because you cannot bear how your life is and who you are and so you just go to the gym and you pump yourself whatever just an example I'm not saying if you go to the gym every day that you have a problem i'm just saying it could be anyway you have to be honest and know that for yourself um so with the gaming what what was interesting also was that i wasn't playing new games um i was actually going into the games that i used to play when i was a child or an adolescent such as Diablo and Age of Empires, Red Alert, SimCity, what was the other one? Uh, Heroes of Might and Magic. So I think that is pretty interesting that not only I was using games as a distraction as well for, from my life and who I was and the things that I wasn't really happy because when you're playing games, you're not thinking about those things. You don't, you don't really have to face yourself. Uh, but it's interesting to note that I was also going into the games that I used to play when I was younger. Which, in a way, brings me back into that point in time where I was happier. So, it's, it's, it is related to that point of craving a feel-good sensation. It's not just the game, but it's the experience that I had when I was younger and I was playing that game. Um, so... I could see that was a problem as well and eventually I, I said this is enough because also like with the weed and the pornography you get to a point where like you just overdo it and it's like enough well pornography it's not really an overdoing it is a doing it that's the problem overdoing it as well but anyway I hope you get what I'm saying so I was just if I would just play like one hour once a week no problem but that was not the case. I would just do it constantly. And the problem is, that time that I was spending doing that, I wasn't actually developing myself as a musician, as an artist. In my playing skills, singing skills, performance skills, I wasn't really making new music. So I was, yeah, spending time doing that. And if it wasn't that, then it would be films and uh, TV series. My song, Rebirth, talks about all these points uh, in a very you know succinct way because I cannot tell the whole story in the song but I say I used to, uh, this is what I say in one of the verses I used to binge watch TV shows in my dreams Game of Thrones so this is actually something that happened um, where I would dream about the things that I was seeing N Game of Thrones didn't happen it's just rhymes in there but I did watch Game of Thrones. But other TV series that I would consume more 
and complete, become completely obsessed about, and even the games, would go into the dream. So that's, that's really interesting that, you know, you, mean you focus so much energy into something that you take that into your dream. <laughs> it's like <laughs> pretty interesting. Uh, so that could be an indication. If you dream about something, if you're doing something obsessively and it goes into your dream, then maybe you should like, think, okay, I need to direct this point because I've obsessed about this so much that it's in, in the dreams now. And an interesting thing is, so you, so you see the, the extent of the obsession and, and how the body was actually responding in a way like saying, stop this bullshit. Um, this was actually before Netflix. You would have, you still have websites where you would have, you know, a variety of films. It can happen sometimes now when I choose uh, a movie to watch on Netflix, which is very rarely because of time is a problem with the baby and all the things that I want to do. So, but what would happen is I would spend a lot of time trying to choose a fucking movie. And <laughs> what I would experience is like my body would, would, would feel a tension in it. Like, I just cannot fucking decide this thing. What is the best movie that I can watch now? And I spent a lot of time trying to choose a movie. And the body was like having that experience of stop this bullshit. This is fucked up. Stop it. But I would continue anyway. So that's just something interesting to show how you can obsess about something in your mind so much. And the body will respond. The body will tell you like, look at what you're doing. This is not good. If, if you feel me, meaning the body saying, feel me, there's a problem here. And then social media, um, where I would spend time and time and time, so much time just scrolling on Facebook, looking at bullshit stuff and just looking. I wouldn't participate much, but just w looking and watching videos and then YouTube, which, you know, YouTube is a world. You can get lost, completely lost in it. Uh, it would be the same with just looking at more videos and more videos and more knowledge and, oh, this is so interesting and this, and how about this? Oh, this is this and this and this and that. And you would spend the whole time doing that. So all these points of distraction, time consuming stuff that you do and you believe you're getting so much from it, like a relaxation time or you're, you're becoming more knowledgeable. But in fact, you're actually not doing... How much of what you see do you actually apply then in real life? I mean, if you're watching something on YouTube to learn and then you go and you apply it, like I've built this studio, so I've watched quite a few things online to know about it, um, to build it the best way that I could. So that was knowledge that I consumed and I made it practical, relevant. Maybe sometimes doing a little bit too much. That's the addiction kicking it or the, the let it go. Let me just be watching this a little bit more before I go and do that. That sort of experience. Um, but I made that knowledge practical. I made it useful. So how much of what we spend online on Facebook, Instagram, there's pretty much nothing. I mean, you cannot learn much from a one minute video, do you? So the question that I was asking myself is how much of this that I'm consuming online is relevant to, to what I actually want to create, uh, specifically as a musician, as an artist and the music that I want to put out. So I could see there was a lot of stuff that was just pointless and it's just a waste of time. So I decided to stop it or to limit a lot the the time that I would do it because I still as an artist I have to put some time into uh, for example using Facebook to share the content at least uh, and the same on Instagram on Instagram and on Twitter as well I have a Twitter where I, I tweet some my thoughts let's say so I have to use this social media as a point as a practical point to support me in the music uh, but everything else that becomes a point of me consuming a am I consuming just a little bit or am I becoming consumed by it? That's the question and based on that I've limited a lot of my usage on of social media um, to certain times, to certain days and I don't always respect it, let's say, uh, but I've I've become much better and that's why I've been able to do the things that I've been doing 
in terms of being more productive with the music and the things that I want to do. So just just to show that if you look at yourself in your life, you you mean you have 24 hours in a day. How are you spending that time? Is it is it the best way that you can? Are you applying it the best way that you can? Are you being distracted a lot by certain things or certain people, whatever? So for me, there was a lot of distraction in, in these points. Um, the gaming, the TV series, the social media. And the moment that I stopped to reduce it to almost complete in certain things even, I have, I have much more time. Uh, but then you have to be careful not to go into other points of distractions. So really be very specific with your time because that's, that's all you have. That's what I've realized. Like All I have is time. And when my time is up, that's it. So I better make the most of the time that I have because that's what I actually have to create myself, to, to put myself in this world, to make something, something meaningful of, of my life and hopefully bring some meaning or help others to find their meaning and, and to create a better world. That's, that's all I am about. That's all I want to do. That's all I want to spend my time doing. I like to relax, I like to enjoy myself as well. But I do it with very specific things. It can be going to the beach, it can be being with my son, it can be just having lunch with or dinner with, with family. But I mean, I enjoy myself making the music as well. Uh, but it, it's work as well, so I have to like, let's do this, but I have fun. So it, it's not that uh, I don't have any fun in life. I have. Actually, I'm having more fun now than before because I would feel guilt and ashamed and I'd be depressed because I was doing all that bullshit stuff that wasn't actually the best expression of who I am and who I can be. So I'm slowly getting to that point because I have stopped all these things and I'm putting, you know, getting rid of all the distractions and just applying myself um, in the things that are relevant to who I, who I have decided to be and become, which is an artist, a musician. And within that, someone that puts out a message in this world that I can, that I, I can die and I can know that I tried. You know, I might have not been able to change the world because no one can, because we all have to, but at least I did my part and I'm gonna die with my conscience, you know, clear, let's put it in those terms. So that's why I stopped all this bullshit. And if this makes sense to you, maybe consider that as well, because life is better when you are the one actually deciding who you are and what you do at every moment. And you're not being directed by things inside you that you don't really understand or that you can see they're not best for you. So. I hope this can be some support and interesting and entertaining and maybe you can relate as well. Go for it if that's what you want. See you next time.